Right, okay. Uh, good evening, my dear students. And today, since we have uh, finished discussing our first lesson, today we are focusing on discussing the next part of this lesson that is uh, actually your workbook. So what we are going to do today is we are going to complete your workbook. And that is for grade seven, basically grade seven. And this is your workbook for grade seven, English medium one. Right. So there are a few activities where we have to complete. Actually, I have given you some quizzes, some quizzes last day that is for grade six, but grade seven quizzes you will get this week. So grade six quiz also you have to answer why? Because uh, since most of you missed grade six <laughs> content, right? Since most of the students missed grade six content, so that's why I want you to answer grade uh, six stuff. And Excuse before we me, sir. yes, sir, you uh, you gave us a quiz today, right? Uh, yeah. Not uh, yesterday, uh, yeah. sir. I answered that that quiz, sir. Sir, it says the uh, some of my answers are wrong, but I can't understand why is that. Is that so? So I can watch this because uh, let let me let me check this because today I just wanted to that uh, discuss that question. But so uh, the thing is after today I will not be giving marks for this quiz. Okay, I'll give mark for the other quiz because then after submitting this you will get uh, after discussing this you will get full marks for this quiz. So that's why uh, let me let me show. Okay, so this is how you have get uh, receive the uh, marks. This is how some students have submitted that and some have not. So don't worry, those who have not submitted, don't think much. Because uh, anyway, today, after discussing this, we will release grade, grade seven quiz, which is relevant to you. Actually, grade six quiz is not relevant to you, but still you can just check your knowledge by submitting. You can just check your knowledge by submitting. And here in, let's go to the Shamin's one and he got 16 out of 18, most probably because you miss, you have answered, yes, this is the thing. Yeah. Yes, you have, you have given the similar answer. Uh, the both are same. Yeah, both are same. So this manually, it should be evaluated because this is fill in the blank. It's uh, search for the exact word. So where I could have given this 18 brackets, so you will get full marks, don't worry. So this is a great six one. Yes, sir. <coughs> right? Okay, sir. Okay, that's why I, I thought that. So this is correct, but here you have not uh, used the same term, but still uh, it carry the same meaning. Therefore, you'll get the marks, right? no worries. Okay, sir. Okay, uh, let me show how these questions can be answered and Oh, because there are some students, new students today, they don't know what to do with this. This is our Edmodo system or the learning management system. Basically, if you adapt to that, this is very good experience for you. I'm really sure this is very, very good experience because most of the universities are using this system in uh, Sri Lanka also. Most of the government universities are using this for some subjects, giving assignments and marking, they are using this. So if you can get early exposure to that, it will be really beneficial, right? This is not hard, this is not difficult. What you have to do is you have to create account, that's all. After creating account, whatever I'm posting here, you can see it from your student account. Let me show from one student account. This is one student account. And let me go back. And um, this is the quiz actually. Let me go to the basic Edmodo interface. Interface like a game. Student give back in the pen and not from the teacher's side. So here, if you have late submissions, late assignments, delay submission, it will be shown here. Delay or atu part in pen and the memo submit karana very well akil. Ratu part in pen or delay. And uh, when I put quizzes. When you go to grade seven, okay, this is grade seven single or medium student, one account from, that's the sample account. This is not original account, sample account. Here it shows. So here, 
in progress in progress means quiz is already taken but let me delete the quiz from here so this is the one in progress one let me take I'll take that away there should be in progress one let me refresh मित्र मित्र मटा पे ना मगे पैतृक वाला करकर इन्नो ना इन प्रोग्रेस किया। When you are doing the other side, I can see as in progress. Here in progress, Tinara in progress, Nal Nal I don't know the name but in progress, Sumudu in progress. That this is the this is the one I want to erase. I'm going to erase this. Since it is in progress, I think I cannot erase because it's in progress. So, therefore, let me go to the assignment. Make it a mangi hila penna na. Metan samane take in kela penna. Take in kela penna ne. When you press take in or oh, take the quiz, then you will be here also. You will show that message will be show. Take the quiz. Take quiz kela wagi ka penna. When you click that button, you can go inside the quiz. And these are the questions. These are the questions. All four questions you can view, but you have to submit the answers. Okay, for an example, one thing. Okay, let's answer this one. Application used for word processing. Application used for word processing is that is MS Word. MS, MS Word. Word. Application used for word processing is MS Word. Then application used to create graphics. MS Paint. MS Paint. <coughs> Likewise, you have to drag and drop the answer here. <coughs> For the second one, here this one. Which of the following is not an example for input device? Input devices: keyboard, mouse, joystick, scanner, input device. Microphone, mouse, webcam, scanner, input device. Microphone, joystick, webcam, scanner, again input devices. Microphone, mouse, printer. Printer is output device. So this is the answer. Then click next. Likewise, you have to here fill in the blanks. So printer is used to get tangible hard copy, and screen is used to display intangible soft copy. Likewise, you have to fill in the blanks. Likewise, after submitting all these questions, you have to press this submit quiz button. Then only you will get marks. Understood? If I submit quiz now, I have partially mark. Here you have three unanswered questions. You will give me given the warning as well. So you have to go and answer those things. Anyway, I'm not going to answer those. I'm going to submit. When you submit, you will get the marks here. And after submitting, as the teacher also, I can view the marks. Here I can see now. Here, this is graded seven out of eighteen. Then I can click. If you are incorrect, if you have any mistake or other thing, I can delete the question based from this side. Or I can mark this. Okay, then I think you understood the process, no? Tell me now the comment the current one. You understood the process? Yes. Okay. So yes sir. Then, yes sir. Yes. Okay. So then there's another special row. So if you like, that is not a compulsory thing. If you like, you can join with that. That is a group basically. There's a special group here called ICT friends. So this group is for your whatever you. I know they there are many talented students who have different type of skills. So this is this group is for them. If you have different type of skills, maybe IT skill, robotic skill, music, dancing skill, or you can talk public, talk to the public, or if you have a YouTube channel, public presenting skill, whatever, you can share it with. Yes, sir. Yes. Sir, can you put the link to the chat or to the group? Which one? This one. Uh, how to uh, join to the join to the group? 
yeah it is uh, this is the code this is the group code so only thing is uh, you know, just go to join class or join group and then give this code n k k u h v n double k u h v and if you join with this group you can publish here uh, one student has submitted his skills let me show is good in music and he has submitted this one likewise so this is one thing so likewise you can post your one because every 3 months we are going to select a winner and we will be sending small physical gift to you right every 3 months we are going to select a winner and we will be sending small physical gift that is not a big gift don't worry so we are going to send small physical gift to you that is to encourage your skills that is a separate things we have a club like thing this is our friends club where we will do or we will perform and we can share it with others and get rated okay that's it right then let's move to the subject quickly so today we will be discussing this grade 7 red seven one red seven activity 1.1 what is mean by the term cpu so this is a simple question so what you can do is no, when you answer in this is when you answer in this take a piece of not piece of paper take a book separate book take a separate book and write down the activity name activity 1.1 then question number and then give the answer that is the easiest question number and they then give the answer question number 1 an answer for question number 1 is what is mean by cpu is central processing unit yeah. central, central proce processing unit central processing unit processing unit answer is central processing unit so then uh, question number 2 is asking about question number 2 asking about what is central processing unit can you tell the answer what is central processing unit what is it yes uh, it is is the uh, controlling component in the computer yeah, it is. or it is known as the brain of the computer ah it is brain of the computer it is, a, it is one of the it is section yes it is one of the major components of computer system or oh, the system unit or oh, computer system or system unit it is termed as yes it is it is equal to the brain of the computer yeah it is equal to brain of human being it is equal to brain of a human maybe brain of a human so very important so you have to put equal to the yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. it is equal to the it is equal to the brain of human so not not just that so it performs so what are the things it performs it performs arithmetic then logical logical uh, it performs arithmetic and logical operations it performs arithmetic and logical operations it also sends it also can uh, yes sends controlling signals or control signals all other components to all the other components so you have to write down this okay can you write down this quickly okay activity 1.1 activity 1.1 you can name the activity no need to write the question again because it's there in your book no need to write the question again because it's there in your book 
So write the activity number and write the answer. Sorry. Write the activity number and then write the answer. Write the activity number and then write the answer. Okay, meanwhile, try to answer this question number two as well. Question number two shows, okay. Let me scale this down a little. Try to answer question um, activity 1.2. Activity 1.2. So we discuss activity 1.1. Now try to answer activity 1.2. And question number one. I don't have textbook now. So it's okay. You can just uh, read this. I think you can read this. Name the main part of central processing unit and briefly describe the function of those. So if you can see the screen, that's all. Can you see the screen? Yeah. Okay. Then can you write down the question? No need to write the question. Can you answer the question? The main parts of central crossing unit. Okay, sir. Okay. Finished writing? Finished or still doing? Finished. Finished, okay. So can you know the answer? What are the main parts of CPU? Central processing unit. What are the main components? ALU, CU, memory register. ALU, CU, and registers. And not only that, you it has some additional components called uh, cache and bus. So these are additional, right? But mainly, so you will discuss about these three ALU in your book. ALU, arithmetic, and logical unit. It performs addition, division, multiplication, or mathematical functions, equal mathematical functions, or and also perform comparison logical or oh sorry logical functions such as comparison grouping or grouping comparison grouping arranging in order in ascending then send in order, etc. Yeah, the logical they can So one is uh, mathematical functions. Mathematical function addition, ekatukirima, dukirima, bedi no again. Mathematical functions. Not only that, it performs comparison, grouping. Comparison means with the less than, greater than. Grouping means similar kind of things to similar groups, one group. Arrange in ascending order, descending order. So those are logical functions. And CU means, meaning of CU is control, control unit. So what's the task of control unit? Can you name that? Can you explain the task of control unit? Danoli? Controls all the devices on the computer. Yeah, controls, not actually controls, can, mm, okay. Uh, communicate between. Communicate. 
It can manipulate and controls the hardware and the input, also the output of and send them to the right place at right time. Yeah. But uh, the controlling part, actually, I personally, I don't like controlling. It send actually control signals. It sends control signals. It's not controlling. It sends control signals. Okay. So controlling and sending control signals is two things. Controlling means you involve and directly do that. For an example, think about traffic uh, officer. Traffic officer can be a junction in a traffic officer. Can is he sending control signals or controlling? Basically, sending control signals. According to his signals, drivers are controlling the vehicles. Understood? Drivers are controlling vehicles according to traffic police controlling signals. Ultimately, yes, ultimately as output, the whole process can be con uh, called controlling. But what actually done by the traffic police is sending control signals. He's telling to wait, he's telling to move, telling to turn left, turn right, and drivers are the people who control the vehicle. Understood? So similar to that, it sends control signals to every other component, for each and every component. Component in each and every component in the computer system. Okay, that is what control unit is. Control unit sends control signals to all the devices. Ultimately, it's controlling. Yes, ultimately, what is happening is controlling. But basically, what happens, it sends the control signal to every component, every other com each and every component in the computers in the computer system. Okay, the registers. Task of registers. Mukha the registers will be ready. Registers mukha the karan. Functions as a temporary memory store. Yes, it's a memory location. Memory cells inside. Memory cells inside the processor. So it is a memory cells inside the processor. Helps ALU and see you to do oh, help ALU and see you to perform the operations. It's memory cell. So cache memory, cache memory, it is static random access memory inside the process. Static random access memory inside the processor. It keeps instruction and data until process. It keeps the instructions and data until it processes, until the CPU or until the processor process. Bus, it is parts. Parts inside the processor. Data moves through the buses. Data move, data moves through the buses. Those are the parts, but this is not there in your syllabus basically, right? So this is, don't worry, this part, no need to buy hard. This is not there in your syllabus. This is additional. In your syllabus, you have this trick. ALU, CU and registers. Green color one is not really relevant to you. But actually speaking, you have green color components too. ALU, CU, registers, but uh, don't, uh, if you like, you can remember cache memory and bus, but that is not going to be asked in the exam because it is not there in your syllabus. 
finished writing no sir no sir right okay i'll i'll give more time right uh, then the next one is next next activity or oh, next question same activity next question this is question number 1 activity activity 1.2 now in 1.2 we discuss question number 1 and question number 2 question number 2 no need to answer so just write the just write the answer number here and then 1 2 here you have to 1 to uh 2 you have you have to mark right or wrong here you have numbers from 1 to 1 to 8 so read it and try to answer read it and try to answer what you have to mark is you have to tell it right or wrong meka metana question number ekak dala ඉස්සරහින් නම්බර් එක දාලා හරිද වරදද කියලා දාන්න no need to write this no need to write this question you can mark this okay uh, here you can put whether right or wrong for an example the first one first one is is asking okay first one it's asking central processing unit hold all the information that is currently using in memory registers central processing unit holds all the information that is currently using in memory registers <coughs> correct or wrong correct or wrong so where central processing unit keep the uh, currently processing instructions or data yes in registers yes in registers so answer to this one is answer to this one is you can say sorry answer to this one you can say correct answer to this one you can say correct and next one next one next one likewise you have to mark right or wrong find whether the answer is right or wrong. can you quickly mark this within 2 minutes i'll give you 2 minutes right yes mark don't mark here don't mark here then others will also see so write in your one Thank you.